Hi everyone. In this video, I will talk about how to use Kaggle's API to check available datasets, download datasets, and upload submissions to Kaggle all within a Google Colab notebook. Before I get started, I will briefly give a background on Kaggle. Kaggle is a website where people can go to learn about data and computer science. Kaggle's platform offers various datasets that you can access for free, as well as competitions that you can enter to compete for fun or for prizes. Kaggle is owned by Google, and over time, I think they will continue to make it easier and easier to work with both Google Colab and Kaggle. Great, so let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is generate a API token in order to work with Kaggle within our notebook. So I have Kaggle up, and the first thing you need to do is go to your profile and you can cl click on your profile link right at the right hand corner. Go to account. And under API, you should see create new API token. That will download and you'll have a JSON file that you can upload. And there are a few different ways that you can upload the file. If you have it up, you can just go to your downloads and drag and drop. Or another way that we can go about doing this is just to give another example. You could go to files.upload to upload this from your download section. And in order to do this, you need to also import files from google.colab. If I hit shift enter, you choose a file and Kaggle that's in my downloads. And great, we have that up and we can keep moving on. So in order to work with Kaggle, we'll need to work with some shell commands. And anytime we want to use shell commands within our notebook, we can use the exclamation character in Google Colab. So the first shell command we'll run is mkdir or mkdr, and this will create a folder for us to store our JSON file. Okay, then the next command we want to run is cp and the cp command is going to copy the file into the new folder that we're going to create finally we will call the chmod 600 to allow us to read and write to the file great so we should be all set so the first thing I'll show everyone how to do is take a look at the current competitions that are going on within Kaggle. So in order to run these, again, anytime you want to run a shell command, you have to start with the exclamation point. And we'll just type out the competitions list. Great. So now we have a list of all the current competitions that are going on. So these are the references. This is the deadline. If you ever see a deadline that goes out to 2030, that just most likely means that there is no deadline. It's indefinite. For anyone familiar with Kaggle, you'll know that the Titanic, Titanic one is most is the first competition that most people are introduced to, and that doesn't have a deadline. And then we have a bunch of other ones. And it tells you the category, so a lot of these for getting started, that's obviously if you're new. Playground, Featured, Research, Analytics, and that's probably rounds it out. Research and Analytics will probably be some of the harder ones. Then it'll tell you if there are any rewards. Some of them have prizes, others are just for fun, so knowledge, there's no prizes or cash prizes for those. 
And then finally, you have a few that have some cash prizes for the top winners. And then if we look at the last two, there's team count. So the number of teams that are registered in this in each of these competitions. And then finally, user has entered. So that tells you if you have entered. So you can see that I did the Titanic one. And I believe that I did this one as well. Great. So the next thing I'll show you is how to take a look at all available data sets. So not all of the data sets in Kaggle are linked to competitions. Some of them are past competitions. And some of them are just data sets that are available to people that want to just analyze the data or look into it or use it for their own research. And the way that we do this is we'll call Kaggle again. And we'll look at the data sets and list. OK. And similar to the previous one, we have the reference ID. Then we have the title of the data set. So Pfizer vaccine tweets, credit card customers, California traffic co collision. Next, we have the actual size of the data set. So some of these are pretty small and then some of them are relatively large. This one's for one gigabyte. Most of them are a few megabytes or smaller than that. And this next column last updated, just the last time that the data set was updated or uploaded into Kaggle. And finally, download count, how many times Kagglers have downloaded this particular data set. Okay, great. Next, let's move, let's work on actually downloading some of this data. So I'll download a competition data set and I'll download just a regular data set. So let me first download the competition one, call Kaggle. Then we need to specify competitions download dash C and I just want to download the Titanic one. So this is the one that everybody gets started with. Almost everybody gets started with when they first start. So we'll just download that one. Okay. And it looks like it's downloaded. And the way you can check is you just go to your file section and this is for the Titanic data set. So we were able to download those in. And before I actually show you that data, I'll just also download a data set from the data sets column. Okay. Um, I will probably do a smaller one. Okay. I will just select, I'll do this one on chess. Okay. So similarly, we call Kaggle again. We want to download and we need to type out the reference name. Great. And it looks like that one went through. Let's check. Yep. Okay, and just to show everybody what this looks like, I will read these into a pandas data frame. So first I'll do and we'll check the chess one. So copy path. Okay, and if I scroll up, so this is all the information from the chess one. Various ratings. Okay, great. And let's also check the Titanic data set too. So this is the training data set that you would use when you're building your model. Great, and that looks like it went through. Anybody that's familiar, you'll see that this is the famous Titanic data set. Great. The final 
function that I want to show everybody is how to upload results. So when I downloaded this, Kaggle usually provides a sub a example of a submission. So I can just use this as the submission for the Kaggle data set. And sorry, sorry for the Titanic data set and upload it. So what I'll do is I will call Kaggle again. I have to say that we're submitting. We have to say which competition that we're submitting for. We have to provide the file and you can just copy this from your file here. And then finally, any comments. So I'll just put in test submission. Okay, and I will run this. Okay, looks like we were able to successfully submit that. And you can always check. I can go to compete. All right, and I just submitted it and it gives me the score. And again, this is just the one, the generic one that they provided, and we were able to submit all of this. Okay, so thank you for tuning in. Hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments about working with Google Colab and Kaggle, feel free to leave a comment. You can always also uh, connect with me over Twitter, LinkedIn, or GitHub. Happy to answer any questions, and feel free to subscribe if you found this helpful. Thank you, everyone, and happy coding.